right, welcome back to FCP Works Secret Sauce. Uh, this is Sam Mestman, and um, just a quick reminder before we get going, if you're going to be at NEB this year, uh, come see the FCP Works Suite at the Renaissance Hotel. It is going to be awesome. We are going to have tons of workflow presentations. Chris Fenwick from FCPX Grill is going to be hosting. It's going to be right next door to the South Hall uh, in the Renaissance Hotel. It's just a walk away. And if you want to find out more information, go to fcpworks.com slash NAB2015. That's fcpworks.com slash NAB2015. And come sign up, and there's going to be all kinds of information about what we're going to be showing off in the weeks leading up to NAB. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, what you guys are looking at is a single video file and um, a bunch of individual audio channels. Uh, most of the time when you're dealing with second source audio, your sound guy is going to record a multi-channel WAV file. But in some scenarios, this doesn't happen, and this is going to be kind of the perfect example to illustrate what can happen when you're trying to sync multiple audio so sources that are all in sync to a single video clip and you may not always like the results and I'm going to show you basically why using multicam clips for this scenario is going to be an advantage and in general I think multicam clips are probably going to be the way you want to go. They're a lot more flexible. They do a lot more things. Um, synchronized clips, I think, are, are, are sort of dying out. And unless you're using uh, sync and link, multicam clips are probably going to be the way you want to go, especially because they work so much better now uh, over XML, and you can get them in to resolve in other places, which didn't used to be the case. There isn't really a compelling argument to not use them now. Anyway, um, let me show you why. So basically, uh, if I go ahead and take all of these and do what I would ordinarily do with the synchronized clip and sync them together, uh, and we're gonna use audio for synchronization. It's just gonna name it after a synchronized clip. Basically, what you're gonna see here is gonna be a little bit confusing because of the way that Final Cut handles synchronized material. And when we look at this, uh, we're going to see it's made a synchronized clip where we're going to have storyline and connected audio, which is what you'd expect. Except the weird thing here is that I have my connected audio in a stereo configuration, and I'm supposed to have six connected audio clips here. So why don't we go ahead and dive in and see what's actually in this synchronized clip. I'm going to open in timeline, and you will see that I actually do have all of my audio correctly synced here. And um, GH4 footage. And when I play it back, everything in here is in sync. So why is it that when I select my synchronized clip here, I don't see my audio channels? I can either see two dual mono channels or but all of my audio is in my synchronized clip and I don't really know what I'm hearing and what this is showing me. And the bottom line is this is not what I want. This is, you know, I, I don't see my audio named the way my components are named here. If you, I have no idea what components it's displaying, etc. So this is all a long way of saying, uh, maybe we should try a multi-cam workflow for this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select these audio components again, and let's see what happens if we put these into a multicam clip. And before I do this, notice that I put in the camera angle metadata, which you can do if you go to the info tab and you set this to general or extended, you're gonna be able to enter in the camera angle metadata. And when I select each of these audio components, you're gonna see that uh, basically it's gonna change and I've already entered these in based on their component names. And if I enter that in, it's going to place each one of these audio channels into its own separate multicam angle uh, based on the camera angle metadata. So, you know, why don't I shut up and just show you how that works. So if I go here and control click and we're gonna do new multicam clip, 
I'm gonna make sure I select use audio for synchronization and all of these other things should be just fine. I'm gonna go ahead, it's going to synchronize all of these and it's gonna give me my new untitled multicam clip that when we come in here, it looks like these are all synced together correctly. But let's, uh, let's just quickly take a look because these all, these audio channels are all the same length. So if I go here and play back. Oh, dear, dear man. Looks like we are in sync. So now if I go and go into my audio patch panel, you'll see that if I then turn off my camera audio and I enable all of these, this all looks exactly what I wanted for my synchronized clip. So the bottom line here is when I go and drop this into a timeline and I select it, I now see all of my different audio sources displayed exactly how I want it. Even tells me the original file name here. And when I play back, I'm in sync. I can always go inside here and easily manipulate my audio channels by placing things like compressors or EQs on them. So if I go down here, I could easily just put a channel EQ filter or I could put a compressor on any of these individual channels. It's a, multi cam clips are a lot more flexible for mixing than synchronized clips because those changes and those EQs, presets, edits that I make in that multi cam clip are gonna ripple through to all of the other instances um, where I've got them in my timeline. And the bottom line here is if you're trying to decide whether you should be using synchronized or multicam clips, multicam workflow is a lot cleaner, it's a lot more efficient, and um, frankly, synchronized clips aren't even accurate if you're trying to sync multiple sources of audio to a single video clip. And when I open up, last thing I'll show you, as, as you can see here, when I expand my auto components, this is all the way that it's supposed to be. Um, so the bottom line is, guys, if you are trying to decide which way to go, for the most part, unless you're using Sync and Link, use multicam clips. Uh, and if you're using multiple sources of audio in conjunction with a single video, the only way that you're going to be able to display it um, the way that you want it to be seen is to use multicam clips. So anyway, that's all I got. We'll be back next week with another version of the secret sauce. And hopefully I will see you guys at NAB. If you're not coming to NAB, we're going to be uh, putting all of the presentations up on YouTube. So bottom line, stay tuned for more NAB info and I will see you guys soon.